This is the real Tom Rose, and we're doing a geometry angles problem. And the, the trick to this problem um, is really two things. A, you need to know what a triangular prism is. And B, you simply need to count correctly. Um, because they want to know how many right angles there are. So if you count, if you miscount, you're going to get the answer wrong. Um, so what is a triangular prism? Well, a triangular prism is a is a fairly straightforward concept. The idea is you take some triangle, any triangle, and then you just stretch it through space. And that's what a triangle, triangular prism is. One of the offshoots of creating a triangular prism is you end up with, on every face, four right angles. Now this works with, with pretty much any polygon, right? So if you do a square prism, for example, you can take a square and stretch it through space. Or you can do a hexagonal prism. I'm not sure if I can draw this very well. Right, and you can stretch that through space. Uh, and in every case, you always end up with right angles at the corners of these shapes. Now, so let's go back to the triangular prism and let's count the corners that we have. Um, on each face, on each flat face, we're dealing with one, two, three, four right angles. And how many of these faces are there? Well, there's one, the front, there's two, the back, and there is three, sort of the hidden side. Let me move that actually. That three is kind of ambiguous. That three is this side. And let me draw the corners on the third side in a different color. And let's draw the corners on side number two. So I know we're getting a little over top of ourselves here, but that is 12. Four for each face, and there's three faces for a total of 12. Now, why didn't I count any on the surface face? So this face right here. Why didn't I count any on that face? Well, there's another little piece of information here which clarifies things. Those are equilateral triangles. And when you're dealing with an equilateral triangle, you know the angle measure of every angle is 60. And since none of those are right angles, we don't have to count any of them. So we end up with 12.